and you can have it very thin for maximum heat transfer. So if, if any welders, if you're going to make one, come to me for questions about making them. Otherwise, if you want one, you know, somebody's asked me to make them one already. If I make a few, I'm not, I'll knock the price down at the moment. Because I, 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 what happened was this year I was ill over the planting season. I had optic shingles and I just didn't get a crop in. A nasty, nasty virus, which is really good, it's turned out, because I've been playing with these. And I just came up with the idea of the next step on a rocket burner. What's the latest you could make one that size? Probably the one that's under the hood. It's not portable. You can fit it in a car, but you wouldn't want it as a backpacking. No. These are better for that. Yeah. You know, these are brilliant for what they do. They're just, yeah. you don't want one in your living space. Yeah. I'm talking about getting people's heating and cooking carbon negative yeah. whilst improving soil fertility. Yeah. You know, that's there. Then suddenly your yeah. lifetime, the big change, you're no so longer a cancer on the earth. It's key, yeah. yeah. It's a massive key thing. It's, it's that important. So small camping things, different story. That's better, somebody's doing that already. Yeah. I'm talking about changing your life so all your heating and all your cooking is carbon negative. You're no longer cooking on fossil fuels. You're no longer growing on petrol food. You, so you're heating, you're cooking and your food production. That's, that's, the, that's the cycle. Um, other things, yeah, it's there, it's interesting, but not for me. <laughs> uh, you know, little kits there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, a little van. Yeah. I want a, I want a little no, you could you could have that in a van, permanently yeah. fitted. Just the it's same just as that. You're sliding. It's just the weight of it because I got a really small van. It's the weight. No, there's no weight in that. Not for a van. No. no. With one finger. Oh, good God. That's for the Ford chip. Right. Because you know, if you can, that's that's the same as having your puppy in a van. That's nothing. Yeah. You made plans available. Not yet. I'm going to. I've not had time to put a website down. The um, the guy who was meant to be here, we were going to do sourdough bread workshops, which go very well because it's using the oven to. But he, he, he uh, dropped out last minute coming. Brilliant baker, really good breads, and the bre um, yeah, I've done it every other festival. But he's also a website designer. He's not on the case. He's very slack. I need somebody on the case to help me with the website design. Well, I only have a forum where. Go on and yeah, work out the best because I've done a lot on working on making mistakes on early ones, so it's better. That's why I'm saying if you're yeah. going to make one, speak to me until I've got plans down. The two, the two well, keys, the don't height. Don't the the, no, 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 don't. Yeah, there is. You will, you'll get dimensions wrong at first. You will do. Yeah. yeah. Um, if you can weld, I mean that's the key point. Six inch diameter. Go, go to the first. I built a small one, then I built a big one that big, thinking brilliant, tons of heat, but no, it's too too tall. Oh. I've done the experiments on taking the wood gas out of the top, so and then blowing air into it. Better wood gas coming through the bottom. Those are things I've played with, um, and this is simplest best. That's well, the one that's under the water heater right now is the, the simplest best one. That What's I, that? An old air conditioning cylinder? That's a helium balloon bottle. That one's still got the paintwork on it. This is just slightly bigger. If you're going to go make, I mean, at the moment because I'm skint, I'm cutting into gas bottles. That's non-plant. Again, helium. I mean, it's a finite resource. We shouldn't be wasting it into the atmosphere in these balloons. We should be using it for, you know, medical reasons and interesting reasons. But yeah, um, scrap yards chuck out gas bottles because they can't cut into them. Yeah. Um, I have outside my little wooden hut, twen about a dozen full gas bottles. And I'm the one person who doesn't need a free supply of butane. <laughs> and everybody else is paying for butane. I'm giving it away to everybody I meet because I go along. Because then, you know, they, they'll take all the propane for their oxy cutting. But any butane, they just chuck it, they keep it for me, basically. I'm the one person who doesn't need free fuel because I, I want my free fuel to be carbon negative. It's not good enough. You know, free, free butane, it's not there. So I'm, it, I don't, yeah. But um, don't go cutting into a propane bottle with an oxyacetylene torch if you value your life, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Or even with a grinder, unless you know what you're doing. Um, the safe way, if you if you're playing with the actual flammable gas bottles, take the valve out and fill it with water. If you want to play very safe. Um, but, but yeah, as far if if, if you're interested, like I said, I mean, there are the different levels of use. Playing with them first for your allotments, your gardens, and producing biochar on that. Then the next level is actually getting all your heating and cooking either on a porch or bringing it into a thermal mass where you've got a hot plate or your internal hot water system. And then, um, or you know, or an internal oven, which you, you know, again with it going down into a thermal mass, um, the heat Can capture. You use any wood in that? I tend to have painted and varnished wood. Right. Is I would rather gasify than just burn it, because with the extra heat, you're going to burn up 
or the formaldehyde and you name it and you've got bigger chemical reactions going on basically and it's being gasified by the council anyway um, I don't know what temperature it hits but not here but back at home a bit of varnished oak I'm not going to chuck it away I'm going to send it through there if it's got paint or varnish but other than that the only other secret is dry it especially the wood chip not massively if your wood chip is moist the moisture will instead of boosting the flame cool it down so yeah so if we were going to use trees is there any particular tree wood well then uh, hardwoods are hotter once they're going softwoods for lighting fires with hardwoods are hotter um, I get free wood delivered by tree surgeons it's a waste resource they can't get rid of they're really happy because I have a field I get mountains of wood being dropped off. I, I have more, more than enough wood to last me the, my lifetime. I am playing with efficient burns because there is an uneven, you know, some people earn money, I don't, I collect wood. <laughs> but there isn't enough to go round. I, so hence, inventing efficient, super biochar producing burners because that's a feature of more than just myself. Um, but I, I know, you know, get to chat up tree surgeons, there's enough, it's easy to get tons of free wood. Um, skips, buildings, building, you know, I can't go past a skip if it's no. dry, that bone, no, you know, the kiln dried pine. Take stuff mm -hmm. the I know, but uh, <laughs> I've never been done for it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, again, if it's really painted and skips, leave it behind. Don't, don't bother with all your chipboard and your MDF and all that crap, obviously. But a, a, a bit of light paint, done, but, a, but you know, if it's being gasified, it's better than burning it. Could you give it? Could you give us an overview of the three different types that you've got here? Because you've you've that said like, are these yeah. things? I'm not. What's the? What are the names of them? And what's They've the difference? They've got no names. Them? These ones yet. These right. are the same basic principle. I've, I'm calling it a rocket hybrid for now. It's a hybridised rocket stove. Right. So, rocket stove. The principles of a rocket stove are the elbow and the insulation. I have replaced the insulation with wood chip. So the wood chip comes out through that little hatch. So that's full of wood chip. Mm -hmm. And I've knocked little holes in the bottom of the elbow. So the wood chip gives off the gas. It can't combust. The gases go through the holes. And so you have a combustion chamber and a pyrolysis chamber. And that's pyrolysis is oxygen starved. Combustion is burning in the presence of air. So this is the same as this, but that has Instead of having lots of holes, that has a pipe for remote combustion. And this is called a top lit up draft, a tea lud. These are my little design. These were designed by the guy who first started getting this whole biochar story into third world countries. And I'm trying to say, let's use it ourselves. Is that Paul Anderson? Um, Paul Anderson, yeah, yeah. And they're really friendly, intelligent, brilliant. He's, he's there. He's, you know, amazing. Um, Smoke, smoke, uh, oxygen starved fire in the bottom, just a few holes, very smoky fire. Uh, the fan, just a computer fan on this side. So the minute the sm uh, fan blowing air through these holes in the top, the minute the air hits the smoke, you get the most impressive smoke free combustion. Really, you know, it's, it's impressive. Um, clever, but not good enough for Western use. You have to quench it with water, it's difficult to light, and then you get black hands. <laughs> uh, you do with this, but yeah, I should learn to use gloves a bit more. Sweet. Um, great. Um, there's another one called the Anilla stove, which is similar principle to this. But the minute you've hybridised a rocket stove, you've got big issues of control, fire, that, you know, very controllable cook stove. So you've got all the advantages of a, of a good, controllable, easy to operate cook stove. Easy to operate considering it's, it's wood. Okay. But yeah, um, is, uh, who, who's, has anyone here got a lot of vegetable growers?